But first, five million young people will be entering the job market every year for the next five years here in the Middle East. Counting the Cost has been following one organisation and its efforts to connect young men and women with jobs. Al Jazeera's Diana Karim reports. In Arabic, the word Salatak means your connection. It's also the name of a Qatari organization that aims to connect young people with employment opportunities in places such as Yemen, Somalia and Palestine. So far, Salatak has helped one million young people across the Middle East and North Africa find meaningful work. Its chairperson, Her Highness Sheikha Moza bint Nasser, was in Geneva this week to mark the 10th anniversary of Salatak's founding and to announce an ambitious new target. In addition to the one million young people we have already connected with jobs, we now have commitment in place to connect another two million young men and women by 2022. That's three million meaningful jobs and businesses, thanks to Celetic and its partners. But we must do more. I therefore propose, propose that we set a new target and raise the bar to five million by 2022. Salatak acts as a bridge, connecting often disaffected youth with apprenticeships, microfinancing initiatives, and partners who can teach them how to run a business. The hope is it will help them become financially independent to achieve their aspirations and make a positive contribution to the economic and social development of their communities. Salatak wants to combat marginalization and extremism. It says young people who have jobs feel more connected to society, bringing security and peace to neglected communities. One of the main aims at the UN in Geneva this week was to attract new donors and strategic partners to help Salatak deliver on its goal of helping 5 million young people within the next three years. The region is already struggling to create enough jobs for its youth, and the International Monetary Fund estimates 27 million young people will soon be looking for work. While initiatives such as Salatak are important, it's clear that much more needs to be done, and soon. Well, I was in Geneva earlier this week too, and I got the chance to sit down with the founder and chairperson of Salatek, Her Highness Sheikha Moza bint Nasser. Your Highness, thank you so much for, for being with us on Counting the Cost. You're known all over the world for your advocacy for quality education. And yet here you are in Geneva talking about employment. Now, is, is this a, a, a shift in emphasis for you? How does this, how does Silatec play into education? And what are the challenges, in particular for the Middle East, North Africa region? As you know, I am, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm a great believer in education. I believe in the power of education, transforming lives and societies. Education is the, is, the, is the basic building block uh, for uh, human development. It is the base where these young people can learn their uh, skills, their knowledge, uh, the art of citizenry, and uh, uh, also they will construct their first world view. But education alone is not enough. You need to follow that with decent work and employment. We failed to provide uh, our young people with the right environment, economic, social, and cultural environment, for their prosperity and their hope. We have a very young population. One third of our population is between 15 years old and 29 years old. This is a very productive age. This is the generation that can drive the engine of our economic uh, growth and lead uh, uh, our social changes, positive social changes. So I believe that it is imperative to invest in them and to give them the opportunity uh, that, uh, by which they can be active in their societies and practice the citizenry or the art of citizenry that we taught them during their schooling. And, and so that's where, that's where Silatec comes in. Silatec is, is, really is working to fill certain gaps. The problem is that uh, some of these young people, they lack skills uh, that really can allow them to fit in uh, this an ever-changing market. So Silatec is training these young people to be employed. Uh, so uh, we, we help them uh, for their employability. Uh, also, we train them uh, to, to be also entrepreneurs. We uh, provide them with loan guarantees. We try to instill in them uh, the, their self-confidence, uh, to see themselves as productive citizens. And we help also uh, certain governments uh, to change certain mindsets, uh, certain policies, to create this ecosystem 
uh, by which these young people can excel or practice uh, the, this, the, this good citizenry. Your Highness, we, we talk a lot on counting the cost about the UN's sustainable development goals. How does Silatec contribute towards those goals? Well, Silatec works actually tackles uh, uh, many of the uh, SDGs. So it's, uh, it is uh, from poverty to uh, decent work to gender equality to partnership. I mean, when we uh, connect these young people to jobs or train them to be entrepreneurs, their families also can benefit from this uh, businesses or these jobs, uh, their society, and the, we are in a way activating the business and the, the whole community. And also we work in partnerships. I mean, we have international partners, so regional partners, and also local partners. Local partners for us are uh, very essential because they are the ones who can lead us uh, towards the right programs. There is no one size fits all. So we need really to to make sure that what we are offering is appropriate and adequate to the culture and the dynamics of, of the society that we operate in. Uh, of course, the, the, the uh, regional and international uh, partners, they help us to, to transfer certain expertise and knowledge uh, to these local uh, 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 people that we are helping and supporting. Your Highness, it's been an honor to have you on Counting the Cost. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Thank you.